The Forgotten Leaf Trick That Turns Dead Soil Into Black Gold In Just Three Weeks Have you ever wished your garden soil could transform into rich, dark, living humus, almost overnight? Well, here's a secret that used to be common knowledge among traditional farmers, but somehow got lost with time. It's not composting. It's not fertilizers. It's a forgotten leaf layering trick that can turn even dead, dry ground into black, worm-filled soil in just a few weeks. If your soil feels tired, pale, or lifeless, this ancient layering method might just be the revival it needs. Long before bagged compost and synthetic fertilizers took over, old growers relied on one thing to keep their soil alive – layers of decomposing leaves mixed with natural waste. They discovered that when leaves are layered the right way, with moisture and organic matter, they create a perfect underground factory for microbes, fungi, and earthworms. This isn't just dumping leaves on the soil. It's a careful layering process that mimics how nature builds forest soil. In forests, layers of fallen leaves trap moisture and slowly break down into humus, feeding roots from above and microbes from below. The result is dark, crumbly, fertile soil that never needs synthetic feeding. This same principle can be used right in your garden, and when done correctly, the transformation can be astonishingly fast, in as little as three to six weeks, depending on the climate. The method relies on three main forces working together – carbon from dry leaves, nitrogen from green materials, or waste and moisture. These three create the perfect environment for microbial life. Here's the key. Leaves alone don't make rich soil. They need nitrogen to decompose properly. Dry leaves are carbon-rich, but nitrogen-poor. So, if you only spread dry leaves, they'll just sit there and rot slowly. But when you alternate them with thin layers of nitrogen-rich materials, like green weeds, kitchen scraps, or fresh grass clippings, you create balance. This balance wakes up billions of microorganisms that start digesting the layers, heating them up slightly, and breaking them down into humus. The process also attracts earthworms, which dig through the mix and speed up the breakdown even more. Within weeks, you'll notice dark, moist, and earthy-smelling soil forming beneath the layers. So, to get fast results, start by preparing the soil surface. If there's grass or weeds, simply cut them down but don't remove them. They'll act as the first layer of nitrogen. Then begin layering. The first layer should be dry leaves about 2 to 3 inches thick. Crush them slightly to help decomposition. Next, add a layer of green material about 1 inch thick. This can be fresh weeds, vegetable scraps, or grass clippings. Just remember, avoid thick layers of any one material. Thin, alternating layers work best. Once you've built two or three layers, sprinkle the entire pile with a microbial booster made from natural ingredients. Mix one tablespoon of molasses, one cup of compost, and one liter of water, stir well, and sprinkle it evenly across the layers. This activates the microbes almost instantly. Finish the process with one last thin layer of dry leaves to trap moisture and keep the surface from drying out. Then water the entire pile thoroughly until it's damp but not soggy, kind of like a wrung-out sponge. Keep it covered with a light mulch or a piece of old sackcloth to retain moisture and prevent the top from baking in the sun. Within just a few days, heat builds up inside the pile as microbial life really explodes. Bacteria and fungi start digesting the carbon and nitrogen, breaking down the materials into fine particles. Worms soon appear, tunneling through the soft layers and mixing everything naturally. This microbial activity is what turns waste into black gold. If you dig gently after about three weeks, you'll already see the transformation beginning. The bottom layers darken, shrink, and crumble into humus. In about five to six weeks, depending on weather and moisture, the entire pile becomes dark, rich soil that's soft and full of life. What's even more powerful is that this method improves soil structure, not just fertility. The layered leaves create air pockets that loosen compacted ground, allowing roots to breathe. 
The humus holds moisture far longer, reducing watering needs, and the billions of microbes generated during decomposition stay active in the soil long after, continuously feeding your plants naturally. Once you've built your first leaf layer and it's decomposed, you can repeat the process directly on top of the same area. Each round builds deeper layers of humus, eventually forming a rich, self-sustaining soil ecosystem. If you want to speed up the process even more, you can create a simple microbe tea to spray on top once a week. Mix one cup of compost, one tablespoon of sugar or molasses, and four liters of water. Stir it well and let it sit for about 24 hours before applying. This tea multiplies beneficial microbes and helps them penetrate through the layers faster. Another key tip is to keep the layers moist but never wet. Too much water suffocates microbes, while dryness slows decomposition. If you live in a hot area, cover your layered bed with light mulch or banana leaves to keep moisture locked in. In cooler climates, add more green layers to boost microbial heat and speed up the breakdown. The process naturally adjusts with the seasons, and within a few cycles, your soil becomes richer, darker, and teeming with life than ever before. Traditional composting can take months, requires turning, and often loses nutrients through leaching or heat loss. But the leaf layering trick mimics the forest floor, composting directly in place, feeding the soil right where your plants grow. There's no need for piles, bins, or waiting. Every layer stays in your soil, releasing nutrients exactly where roots need them. Worms work the material from below, turning it into stable organic matter that doesn't wash away with rain. Over time, you'll notice a darker color in your garden beds, a softer texture, and plants that grow faster and stronger with fewer inputs. It's nature's own design, restored through your hands. Traditional composting can take months, requires turning, and often loses nutrients through leaching or heat loss. But the leaf layering trick mimics the forest floor, composting directly in place, feeding the soil right where your plants grow. There's no need for piles, bins, or waiting. Every layer stays in your soil, releasing nutrients exactly where roots need them. Worms work the material from below, turning it into stable organic matter that doesn't wash away with rain. Over time, you'll notice a darker color in your garden beds, a softer texture, and plants that grow faster and stronger with fewer inputs. It's nature's own design, restored through your hands. After about six weeks, once the layers have mostly broken down and the smell is earthy rather than sharp or sour, you can plant directly into the soil. If you're using it in existing beds, just push the top mulch aside, dig a small hole, and plant into the dark humus underneath. For new gardens, let the process complete fully before planting to avoid heating roots during decomposition. The result will be the kind of black, spongy, living soil that gardeners dream of, completely built from waste that would have otherwise been thrown away. The lost leaf layering trick is not just about fast soil. It's about reconnecting with nature's own blueprint. It's how forests regenerate endlessly without fertilizer and how you can do the same right in your backyard. So if your soil feels tired, lifeless, or pale, start layering leaves today and watch the miracle unfold. In just a few weeks, you'll see black, living soil forming beneath your feet, alive with worms, fungi, and the sweet smell of renewal. If this video helped you discover something new, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central, hit the like button, and share it with every gardener who needs to see it. Together, we can rebuild living soil, one leaf at a time.